Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Commercial Commentary. Today's episode of Commercial Commentary has to do with lawyers advertising on television. Uh, that happened around 20 years ago. The FTC allowed lawyers to start advertising. Before that, they weren't allowed to advertise on television. Uh, so they started advertising for things like slip and fall. You know, if you get injured, call us. If you have a car accident, call us. And then it started to be, if you had malpractice from a doctor, call us and we'll get you money. Uh, we, you don't have to pay them anything until you win, and then they'll take their percentage. And then they started going after, you know, surgical companies and drug companies about, you know, different surgical implements like hip replacements and knee replacements. And then they're going after people who sell drugs to, you know, patients, and all of a sudden there's a side effect that they don't like. And one of them uh, is probably the most bizarre one I've seen. So we're going to talk about that one. It has to do with a drug called Risperdal. Take a look. Attention parents of boys who have taken the antipsychotic drug Risperdal. If your son took Risperdal and then developed gynecomastia. Gynecomastia? What is gynecomastia? A condition in which boys develop female breasts. Call the Goldwater Law Firm. Really? That's a side effect that the drug company didn't realize when they had the drug in testing? Oh, but then again, it is an antipsychotic drug, so perhaps they just didn't believe the patients when they said they were developing female breasts and they were not female. They're saying, oh no, it's an antipsychotic drug, so they're psychotic, so we can't believe them. Hmm. A number of boys have already received out-of-court settlements from the manufacturer. A number of boys have received settlements but they don't say what the number is. Is it 50,000? Is it 4,000? Is it two? I wonder. Both you and your child may be entitled to financial compensation. So you and your child may be able to have compensation. Well, I can understand why the child would get it if they were affected, but why would the parent get anything? Nothing happened to them. And of course, the lawyer's not telling you what kind of compensation they're going to receive. If your son took Risperdal and then developed breasts, call 1-800-494-8686. That's 1-800-494-8686.